Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Wrestling Federation's Saturday Night Power Slam! And now making his way down the aisle, the former SWF World Champion, the Barbaric Bastard, Von Stott! Fueled with anger and rage, ever since losing the SWF World Championship, he has not been the same! And right now, he wants to take out his frustrations on a former ally of his, the Prowler. The Prowler and Von Stott once had a very short-lived alliance. They were going to be working together. They even had a tag team match together. They were victorious. But the first time Von Stott defended the SWF World Championship against Luigi Calzone, the Prowler interfered on behalf of Luigi Calzone and attacked Von Stott. Apparently, the Prowler was trying to use Von Stott to get close to him so he could stab him in the back with hopes of beating him for the SWF World Championship. Well, now we fast forward. Von Stott is no longer the SWF World Champion. Luigi Calzone is the SWF World Champion. And he would defeat Von Stott at the SWF Face Your Fears Halloween Spectacular back in October. Now, after quite some time, Von Stott is finally getting his hands on the man who betrayed him, the Prowler. This should be very interesting. Two of the biggest villains here in the SWF going at it. The fans hate both of these men. That must make it for a very interesting match. Oh, a knee to the stomach there. I imagine Von Stott has been waiting so long to do this. The Prowler almost cost Von Stott the SWF World Championship the first time he defended against Luigi Calzone. Luckily for Von Stott, he would successfully defend against Luigi Calzone. But since then, we haven't seen these two around each other very often. But now, here they are, one-on-one. -on -one, the match you've been waiting quite some time for, fans. It's happening on tonight's edition of SWF Power Slam. Only one count there by Von Stott. The Barbaric Bastard. The Feaster of Fears. Going at it. In singles competition, one-on-one -on -one action for the first time. Beautiful big boot. Nice club to the back there. Von Stott. We know that Von Stott definitely wants the SWF World Championship back. He's addicted to being the SWF World Champion. And his addiction is the SWF World Championship. That's his drug of choice. And he wants it back. The mandible claw being applied. Von Stott escapes. And folks, since this is the Prowler and his contract, Prowler's Rules... No countouts, no disqualifications. Von Sot stomping on the stomach. But I believe this is also an advantage for someone like Von Sot, who is no stranger to bringing in foreign objects as weapons. Also, he has a bit of a bitter feeling toward the Prowler, so I'm sure he wouldn't mind kicking him in the groin or breaking a steel chair over his head. Taunting for the crowd, Von Sot. Not getting the response he might be looking for. Look at these two going at it. Blow for blow. And the end, Von Stott wins the exchange. The Prowler down. The Prowler is bleeding. You can see blood dripping from underneath the mask. The neck, chest area of the Prowler. And also onto the canvas. Onto the canvas of the ring. Wait a second. Blazing Tornado Brain Buster. Three, two, one. Ding. There we go. We're getting a mixed reaction from the crowd for Von Stott. Some cheers, some boos. Wait a second here. Oh, a little blow from the Prowler. Oh, and another one. I can't even imagine how Von Stott could stand at this point. Once again, he's going to go for the spinning spiral tornado brain buster. The number one contendership for the SWF World Championship is currently vacant after Harriet Harlem was unsuccessful in dethroning the undisputed ace Luigi Calzone in her championship title opportunity. All the competitors want to showcase their skills, show off their craft, prove to management, the board of directors, and most importantly the fans that they have what it takes to be the next challenger. Everyone steps up their games whenever we need a new number contender because they want that slot. Now is the perfect time to be noticed. Luigi Calzone undoubtedly is at, definitely watching this match backstage. He knows Von Sod wants a piece of him. And the Prowler would love a shot at the SWF World Championship, I could only imagine. 
The Prowler is a terrifying entity. We think he's a man. We don't know if he's human, though. It's a terrifying individual, say the least. One half of the Hell Spawners, his tag team partner, not here at ringside with him tonight. I'm sure right now he's wishing that he was as he lays in a puddle of his own blood. 2.9! Von Stott almost picks up the victory. All the talent trying to showcase their skills, prove that they are the best and the most deserving for an SWF World Championship opportunity. Von Stott, I hate to say it, but he might be at the top of the line. Maybe at the front of the line, rather. Wait a second. Submission hold. The Dragon Sleeper. But the Prowler escapes. Von Stott is the only person besides Luigi Calzone to ever be the SWF World Champion. That must put him in to the view of management, who are trying to figure out who the next SWF World Championship number one contender will be. Von Stott injured. Ivan Backlash, who was going to be the number one contender. Now Ivan Backlash is out. Hold on a second! He's got that fork! Oh my god! I think... I don't think Von Stott's bleeding. I, I'm not quite sure. I don't see any blood on his face. But that was definitely a stab from that fork right into the face of Von Stott, who quickly escaped. He was in immediate danger. He got out of there as fast as he could. The Mandible Claw! Blazing Tornado Braid Buster, yet again, by the Barbaric Bastard. Seeing as Von Stott's the only other man that ever hold the SWF World Championship, with many successful defenses, he proves that he is capable and deserving of being the number one contender. He injured the guy that was supposed to be challenging Luigi Calzone before we had to have a battle royal to crown a new number one contender. He's been looked at as shallow. He's been looked at as heartless since then. But one thing you can't deny is that Von Stott has the skill and the power to be at the top of the food chain. And he does it right now with that amazing defeat over the Feaster of Fears, the Prowler, who falls victim to the barbaric bastard. Von Stott wins this one, folks. We'll see you next time on SWF Power Slam.